Hello class 10. We have done the two stanzas of the poem animals in the previous video. Now I am going to discuss stanza 3 and the later discussion of the poem. Let's have a look. In stanza 3, what the poet says, he says, not one is dissatisfied, not one is demented with the mania of owning things, not one kneels to another, nor to his kind that lived thousand of years ago. Not one is respectable or unhappy over the whole earth. So what does he say? The poet is saying not even one of the animal is dissatisfied. Means they do not have that feeling of satisfaction over getting something or not. Not one is demented with the mania of owning things. Demented means going insane or going crazy over of mania, you know maniac, people turn maniac or mad or crazy, both are synonymous over here. Of owning things, like we humans are, like for example, it's a very basic example. Today I have this phone, next phone is launched, I want that. That is the mania of owning things, to gather more and more, that is it. But it is only in humans, it is not in animals. They kill one prey at a time, they finish it and then they go for the another. We talk about the hunters in animals. But humans are not like them. They keep on owning the things. Not one kneels to another. Nor to his kind that lived thousands of years ago. And what he is saying? No animal is in worshipping the other animal. Or any other one. Like we humans, we not only have God for us. We also have our forefathers. Like thousands of years ago if someone else has lived. Our forefather. We worship them. But it is not so with the animals. They live in the present. They do not think about the past. They do not think about the future. They just live in the present. Now not one is respectable or unhappy over the whole earth. And all of them are equal. A tiger is a tiger. A lion is a lion. Same way a rat is a rat. It doesn't mean they do not differentiate themselves. For them they are one. They are not divided by caste and creed. Like we humans are. They are not divided on the basis of the property they own. No. They are divided on the basis of their species. Which is a natural process. Okay. So after this let's see. The poetic devices used here are alliteration and there is no rhyme. The entire poem is in free verse. Okay children, let's have a discussion of this poem and I will be discussing the question answers in the next video. So what does this poem tell you about? This poem tells about the, you can say selfishness of human beings, you can say the humanly nature of human beings which is the, uh, which is full of uh, mania of owning the things, gathering property which is not found in animals. It also talks about the honest or the pure uh, nature of uh, animals which is um, equal for every species irrespective of what they are. Whether they are a lion, whether they are a rat, whether they are a snake. Whatever they do, they do for their own survival. I hope that children you uh, would have understood this poem and now we will be continuing the question answers in the next video. Thank you.